This case takes place in the United Kingdom in May of 2022. Alice Woods was a 21-year-old woman who grew up in Staffordshire. She had two brothers, and from all accounts, she came from a loving home. But when she was younger, her parents divorced, and as a result of this, custody was split between her mother and father. According to those who were close with Alice, she was incredibly smart. She excelled academically, finding much of the work for her age incredibly easy. She had a passion and a love for animals, so this naturally pulled her towards a career as a vet. However, this wouldn't be the cause for her life. She finished school and took up her A-levels, where she again excelled. Following her A-levels, she attended Manchester University. It's here where she chose to study for a degree in philosophy, theology, and ethics. The latter subject would become a twisted and ironic headline in media coverage. Alice took her degree very seriously, working hard to achieve the highest grades she could. Despite not even finishing the degree at Manchester, she was offered a scholarship to study part-time for a master's degree at Cambridge. Things were looking very promising for Alice. Alice also had a boyfriend, a 24-year-old man named Ryan Watson. The couple met at the beginning of the lockdowns in March of 2022. They became incredibly close and began a relationship. They hit it off so well, in fact, that within six months of meeting, Ryan and Alice were engaged. In 2021, the couple decided to get a house together. They asked for some help from their parents and were able to purchase a home for themselves in Cheshire. Around this time, Ryan had started a job as a support worker at the brain charity Headway. According to those who knew and worked with Ryan, he was an incredibly popular man and well respected by many. He sought the job as he wanted to make a positive difference in people's lives. It was in May of 2022 that Ryan and some of his colleagues at the charity were invited to a birthday party for a member of staff. The party was to be held in the Victoria Lounge Bar in Hanley, Stoke-on-Trent. On this occasion, Ryan decided to ask Alice if she would like to accompany him to the party, and she agreed. The two got dressed up and made their way over to the event. At first, things were going very well. The two were seen on CCTV having fun. But, according to Alice, things began to change soon into the night. During the party, Ryan was mingling with a number of guests and chatting to other attendees. Guests who were present that night observed that Alice didn't seem too happy with the amount of attention that Ryan was giving to other people besides her, and in particular, other women. To many it appeared that she was somewhat jealous. Alice would later claim that Ryan had clicked with another woman named Tiffany, and that Ryan's chemistry with her left her feeling as if she was being snubbed. Guests would later recall the night, stating that there was an obvious tension between the couple. When others tried to converse with Alice, they were met with few words. She just sat with all of her attention focused on Ryan, who was chatting among his work colleagues. They said that she just sat, barely saying a word, staring at Ryan and other women. Eventually, the two decided to call it a night. They can be seen on CCTV walking towards their car. Once inside the car, the two began arguing, presumably about all of this flirting that Ryan had allegedly engaged in with another woman. However, Alice claimed that Ryan was the one who was angry with her, and that he was accusing her of flirting with other men all night. According to Alice, the two were going back and forth, but it is widely agreed upon that Alice was the one who was angry at Ryan for allegedly flirting. The couple can be seen in the car on CCTV as they pull up to their home. As they both exit the vehicle, Alice can be seen running to her own car, a Ford Fiesta. Despite being three times over the drink drive limit, she started up the engine and began reversing into Ryan. The whole ordeal was captured on CCTV. Ryan was knocked off balance by the attempt to run him over. Alice, in a clear rage, attempted to run over Ryan again. This time, he was knocked onto the bonnet. Ryan got up from this second attempt, but she tried to run him over yet again. And this time, Alice succeeded. Ryan went underneath the car and became trapped. Alice then drives with Ryan trapped under the car for 525 feet, dragging him along at a relatively high speed. 
This, of course, caused Ryan significant and severe injury. After running Ryan over, Alice got out of her car and ran to her neighbor's house and knocked on the door. The neighbor opened up to see Alice standing there. She then said, Please phone the ambulance. I think I've run over my boyfriend. I said it was an accident. Um, I came down to have a look and it was not false. Um, about 10 minutes ago, uh, there was a young lady in our house. Uh, she walked outside now with us and she said to my wife and myself that she's the driver. They had an argument and she drove over him. Right, okay, so Alice, based on the circumstance that we found out already, okay, I'm going to arrest you on suspicion. No, listen to me, okay, I'm going to, listen to me, I'm going to arrest you on suspicion of murder, okay, so you don't have to say anything, but my own defence, you don't mention now something that's later on in court. Anything you do to me, we can evidence, do you understand? The police and paramedics soon arrived on the scene, and as the police arrived with handcuffs, she sobbed and said, It's fine, I deserve it. When the emergency services examined the scene, they found Ryan deceased on the road. Alice was charged with the murder of her fiancé. The trial would begin in 2023. On the very first day of the trial, she was spotted holding a copy of the book Meditations, written by the Roman Emperor and philosopher Marcus Aurelius. During the proceedings, Alice claimed that she never saw Ryan before colliding with him the second time, and claimed that she never meant to hit him. The whole thing, according to her, was an accident. One expert who testified on the case claimed that Alice may have took her eyes off Ryan and there may not have been enough time for her to react. However, other experts highlighted that Ryan was not an unexpected hazard due to the fact that Alice had driven at him a number of times. During the trial, Alice tried to persuade the jury that Ryan became angry with her after he accused her of flirting with men at the party. However, the prosecution team stated that allegations of flirting being made by Alice were false and were in fact the other way around. Those who attended the party were questioned about that night and they said that Alice seemed to be jealous of Ryan clicking with other women. The woman who had allegedly been flirting with Ryan too said that she felt as if Alice was constantly watching her. Friends who once knew Alice were questioned as to her character. They said that Alice never showed any signs of jealousy, anger or aggression before and wasn't the type of person that you would need to be careful around. One of Alice's ex-friends said, Speaking to everyone who knew her, the general consensus was that this is unexpected. She was quiet and studious. She and her mother would go out to the pub quiz together. She seemed like she was destined for a good career. For her to be accused of murder is the last thing you'd ever expect to happen. But the evidence that Alice acted with intent was enough to persuade the jury. They rejected the manslaughter plea made by Alice and they found her to be guilty of murder. In a statement read by the court, Ryan's family said that they finally got justice for their beloved son. Ryan's family paid tribute to him after the shocking killing. They said, Ryan was the light of our lives and we will forever miss him and love him more than words can say. He was an extremely kind and caring individual who loved his family and friends. Ryan's mother also said, I can't imagine how scared he must have been at that moment. The one person Ryan trusted the most is the person who took his life in such a violent way. I am living in a nightmare, knowing my son's last moments was so brutal. The case of Ryan has to be one of the more shocking stories I have seen. The way in which he was killed was truly horrific. With the twisted irony that Alice had even studied ethics to a high degree, yet committed a truly vile crime. Relentlessly and repeatedly running over her fiancé, the person she was supposed to love. The fate of Alice is yet to be decided. Legal experts who have followed the case have stated that life in prison for her is a real possibility. Alice will be sentenced on the 29th of January 2024. If you happen to be watching this video since the sentencing, the amount of time she has been served will be pinned in the comments. Some of those who have heard of this case have stated that they hope Alice remains behind bars for the rest of her life. And they came to this conclusion for the following reasons. She is trained in logic, reason and ethics and she is highly intelligent. Many people have said that these factors mean she is dangerous 
as she knew exactly what she was doing and she fully intended to kill Ryan knowing the consequences of her actions. They have said that this proves she is far too dangerous to ever be released, with many fearing that she very well could strike again if someone were to upset her enough. And as I said before, the updates will be pinned in the comments.